Well, I made it to Bullhead City. I left Vegas. And uh, I'm just uh, gonna be in here in Bullhead City and Laughlin just for a couple days and then I'm gonna keep heading south further into Lake Havasu and then I'm gonna head south to Quartzsite. I've never actually been to Quartzsite. So that's gonna be fun. There are a few things going on down there. And then I gotta head south even further and over into Southern California. So I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna be totally new for me. Uh, well, they couldn't check the back tires because they didn't have the dually um, extension. So I have to go to an auto store and get a dually extension or call another place that uh, possibly has uh, the tool that would allow them to check. Okay, so, well I came to another uh, tire place that was right by where I was parked and they checked the back. They could only get to one of them, the outsides, but they were right at exactly the PSI, the cold rating that the door says the tires should be at which was 60 PSI cold, and one was at 61 and the other was at 65. So, and, that, and the front were a little bit low, so he added pressure to the front tires to get them up to the standard 60 PSI cold that the door says they should be at. And he told me, he said, we looked at the tires and he says that the tires that I have, he says the tires are actually rated for unduly up to about 85 PSI. So my tires are well within the tolerance range. Well, I am on my way out of Las Vegas and I'm uh, getting ready to sort of get out of the metro area here and head down to Bullhead City. This is awesome. I stopped to get gas and they had fresh water. So I'm just filling up. Oh, I love it when I find something like that. Okay, well, I just got fresh water, topped off my gas. <clears throat> now I'm on my way out. I just have to check the map really quick. Like this. Okay, I'm on the right direction. Here we go. I love it when you find a good gas station like that that has water. Take advantage of it. Searchlight, that's where I'm going. Coming into a little town called um, Searchlight. It's basically the midway point. Well, that was Searchlight. <laughs>
So I am in Bullhead City now and Laughlin, sort of this Twin Cities here on my way down further south. I'm going to be heading down into Southern California, but for now I just stopped here for a couple of days. It's actually kind of nice after having been in Las Vegas. There are some casinos and stuff here, but you know, I don't know, casinos after having been in Vegas don't thrill me too much. But I'm just down here exploring Davis Dam, which creates Lake Mojave behind it. And uh, I really like these huge structures. There's actually another dam farther down called Parker Dam, which is far more visually interesting than this that I'm gonna plan on stopping at. But still, these massive structures are just fascinating to me. So let's just uh, go take a little bit of an exploration. There are a bunch of signs that we're gonna go read here really quick. An ugly duckling. When the spillway gates at Davis Dam began closing in 1953, a writer compared it to Hoover Dam, the tallest dam in the world at that time, and called it a dwarf and ugly duckling of the dam family. But to an engineer, or for that matter, an American taxpayer, it's a thing of beauty. It does the job it was built to do and does it well. Davis Dam is an embankment dam, basically a huge pile of rock and earth fill with a base more than a quarter mile wide. At this location, it costs less to build than a concrete dam, and it's just as effective. The main functions of Davis Dam are to create enough storage to ensure that Mexico receives its full share of Colorado River water and to regulate the flow from Hoover Dam. Huh, that's very cool. It's paid for. The other major dams in the lower Colorado River, Hoover and Parker, are tall, spectacular concrete arch dams. Davis Dam doesn't look as impressive, but it is an engineering marvel in its own right, and it's paid for. The bonds used to finance its construction were retired by 2000, paid off with revenue from electricity generated in the Davis power plant. Huh, very cool. There you can see Laughlin down there with the casinos beyond it. I love the color variations of the browns and the slight greens of the hills reflecting into the blue water, the water reflecting the sky. It's so pretty. So I decided to come over to the Laughlin side. You can see the silver side hotel and casino right there. I just wanted to look at the riverfront. I drove down to this uh, sort of fisherman's area right here. Look at this. Public use dock for loading and unloading. Look at the water. The water is actually really clear. Yeah, wow. It's so pretty. You can see over there, there's one of the river boats that takes people over to the Arizona side. I think I'm just gonna walk up here real quick and just kind of see what's at the top of the grass here. Oh, look at the panorama here. Look at those rugged mountains off in the distance. There's my little scooter. 